I started my business when I was uh, 24 years old. I had uh, two young children and was uh, a single mom. My grandfather and my father are both very good bakers, were very good bakers. And told my father about my dreams and my plan. He says, you're a woman, you're not a baker, hands off. I said, are you going to help me or are you not? And he says, okay, he gave me some seed money. So started retail the way I knew it. And uh, the business grew very quickly from there. Within the first uh, three years, we've had uh, $3 million of sales. Um, and I did uh, a third of the wall in the beginning of the week, two thirds towards the end of the week with the wholesale that had to, to come. People wanted the product. We started having trucks. We started um, selling uh, fresh product to restaurants, hotels, um, supermarkets, that sort of thing. And uh, by 1993, it was clear that um, I didn't want to be in retail and I wanted to have my product uh, with a shelf life. So I went back and looking at what was happening in Europe, there was a um, there was a method called pre-proofed frozen, which is when you uh, develop a piece of dough and instead of baking it, um, you're freezing it at the proofed stage. So anybody who's a baker um, or has done some home baking, you know when your product is ready to go in the oven. Instead of in the oven, you put it in the freezer. You do that usually at about 80% of proofing. And um, the European bakers are doing this quite successfully because they ship their product within a fairly short radius multiple times a week and they bake it off as needed on location and it gives you a perfectly fresh baked product. As it turned out that it wasn't working for, um, for Canada and North America because of our deliveries and our distances and how the whole distribution system worked. So after moving into uh, the facility we're in currently which is uh, in one uh, or today have uh, back then we had 32,000 square foot today we have 54,000 square foot and um, we started constructing this, bought new equipment. It got all perfectly engineered for pre-proofed frozen, except for halfway through construction, I realized this is not what the market wanted and had to switch horses for heavier equipment to get into par-baked frozen, which is when your product is finished baked, par-baked is a bit of a misleading word. It's uh, you cannot bake bread twice. It's like pudding. You have to bake it the first time right. It cannot recover if it's still doughy on the inside. So what, what you do is you're, um, you're baking it with a soft crust. Initially, that was the way. We had to bake it quite white with a soft crust and then freeze it, let it cool slightly, and then freeze it, blast freeze it immediately after to um, conserve all the moisture and um, all the freshness. And what the retailers and the food service operators are doing is they're putting it back in the oven and they're uh, crusting it up, freshening it up, and then serving it this way or selling it that way. Um, it, it evolved quite a bit over the last, um, well, since, since in the mid-90s, late 90s, from this anemic-looking white soft crusted product to now the hard crust, the gum pleating sort of a European bread um, that is widely available in Canada and the U.S. that shipped frozen from manufacturers such as myself into retailers that put it back in the oven, um, put it in paper bag, and the consumer thinks that it's made from scratch on premises, which it isn't. And in the food service side of it as well, um, the distributors are getting frozen baguettes, frozen rolls for um, hotels, for restaurants, and they are either putting it in an oven, crisping it up, heating it up, or serving it just cold. But it's um, for our way of life today and for our uh, needs of quality control and uh, distribution control, it was the best way to take. And um, I'm, I'm very proud to, to be part of this industry. I love baking. I love, I love bread. And uh, I have great people. I've been able to retain um, a lot of people for many, many, many years, and we're growing together, and it's a, it's a great business. So I encourage anybody who has entrepreneurial dreams to get out there and, and uh, make them real because it's worth it, and Canada is a fabulous country to do it with.